Welcome to another episode of Eric's Camping Adventures. I am headed out to a local lake today to do a little camping and continue my fly casting practice. Make sure I can get down uh, a good cast to put the fly where I want to um, when we head out to the Rocky Mountains this uh, spring. I saw the video of myself uh, last time and I noticed that I was not doing the 10 to 2 cast. I was doing something more like a 180 degree from 9 to 3, um, especially when I was casting uh, uh, kind of a short roll cast and just wasn't uh, looking the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to do some more video, not just for uh, my uh, channel, but also uh, to give me a little visual feedback of how I'm doing. So one of the things I've never seen on a video yet is how to set up a CVT annex and I thought I would include that in this video today. So the first step you have to do to set up the CVT annex is to find the back of the annex. You have to then slide that first through the little grooves, then work your way around to the sides. get the sides started in their grooves, pull them up to the top, and I would do the other side at the same time, and then you bring them around to the front, and you work them through the front and make sure that they match up at the front around your ladder, and then you zip it up. And it really, um, it looks intimidating, but it's uh, not so bad. Um, once you get used to it, it's, uh, it's pretty lickety split. So this is my setup today on the shores of Lake Sahoma. Uh, I really like to set up my annex. I find it a great place to sit. Um, can get you out of the sun at times. It's a great place to store things. Um, I actually put my uh, camp toilet in there and I, I use that as a private space. Um, much better than using the uh, campground toilets.
Well, today turned out to be a little different than I uh, actually initially thought. Pulled into a local lake, enjoyed some views of the water, enjoyed the breeze, and made myself a nice little dinner there. And was just getting about ready to practice some of my fly uh, fishing and some casting. My camper neighbors next door asked me to come over and play some spades, so uh, I abandoned the fishing and uh, played some spades with my uh, neighbors next door. It's about time to hit the hay, so uh, I will see you in the morning. Lake Sahoma is a pretty popular fishing spot in northeast Oklahoma for the locals right around the lake. Uh, just a fun environment and lots of people catching fish.
the farthest point out there in this clip is Pretty Water Lake, and it connects to Sahoma Lake with a little waterfall. It's stocked with trout every year by the city of Sepulpa, and this lake complex uh, serves as the water supply for the city. Hey, I am uh, taking off a little bit early from my uh, campsite, a little mist coming in this morning, and uh, just decided not to put my rooftop tent through the uh, rain. I want to keep it dry and don't want any mildew on it when we head out to uh, uh, the Rocky Mountains. So I'm headed home a little bit earlier than I thought, not a lot, but I did get a chance to get out uh, with my fly rod. I got a chance to get my waders on and wade out just a little bit from the shore to try to avoid algae at the edge of the shore and made lots of fly casting flubs. I think I have enough video of some fly casting flubs that I'm just going to do a whole video just of, uh, just of that. <laughs> So I really like this uh, little uh, um, stay at uh, this local lake because I got to sleep right on the shore of the lake. Um, not, not a lot of people there in the evenings and none there this morning when I was uh, fishing. So it was a nice time. You know, it was interesting at that lake during the daytime it got pretty busy and there was lots of families there. There was this uh, one family that was quite entertaining to observe and you probably see them in some of my videos. Um, it was a good time. They were a great family. Just great kids having a good old time uh, uh, fishing and getting their lures stuck on things and uh, they, they did maybe a little bit better than I did. <laughs> they sure were fun to have around. Well hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, not anything too spectacular, but sure was fun to get out and enjoy the outdoors as well as to uh, uh, practice my fly casting again. So, hey, keep coming back for some more adventures. See you again. <laughs>